You must have observed corrosion causes damage to car bodies, bridges, iron railings, ships and many other materials made up of metals. And in that iron's corrosion is very common, which is called rusting. Iron gets corroded because of oxygen and moisture present in the atmosphere. A reddish brown color layer forms on iron called rust, which is nothing but ferric oxide that is Fe2O3.xH2O, hydrated ferric oxide. Okay, now not only iron gets corroded, but even copper and silver, all these metals get corroded. Copper gets corroded because of carbon dioxide and a green colored layer is formed on copper. Whereas silver gets corroded because of sulfur in air and a black colored layer is formed on silver. Every year, enormous amount of money is spent to replace damaged iron. And there are various prevention methods also that can be undertaken to prevent corrosion of metals. Like using anti-rust solution, galvanizing, electroplating, Thinning, coating the surface of metal with paint and so many other methods. Okay, now let us come to rancidity. When oils and fats in food oxidize or even when they are allowed to stand for a long time, the food becomes rancid. Now rancidity of food can be observed by the change of taste of the food or by the foul smell that arises from the food. There are many ways of preventing rancidity. The first way is refrigeration. When we keep the food in refrigerator, that because of low temperature, oxidation is very less. So the food can be prevented from being rancid for a long time. Second way is using antioxidants. Antioxidants are substances which do not allow the fats and oils in food to get oxidized. Some antioxidants are naturally present in fruits and some are artificially created to put in food which have high fat content like cheese and butter. The artificial antioxidants are BHA and BHT. For your information, BHA stands for butylated hydroxy anisole and BHT stands for butylated hydroxy toluene. Okay, now before going to the next prevention method, let me tell you a joke. I bought a 10 rupee airbag and I found some chips inside. Nowadays, the chips packets are flushed with nitrogen gas. Sometimes the amount of gas is more than the chips. Okay, the reason behind this is nitrogen gas is unreactive gas. And when the chips are flushed with nitrogen, they are prevented from being oxidized by oxygen. 